what if we did gold on the bottom? Then yellow. Yeah, and then maybe leopard on the sides. Is that too much? Can we give women an opportunity to do something where they know that they're actually creating a real and meaningful impact and earn an income? Whether that's our production and manufacturing team in Uganda, whether that's women in the United States, if we can do that a little bit better today than we did yesterday, like that's what I want to be a part of. And while I was living and working in Uganda, I started learning firsthand the challenges that young women in Ugandan society face. I come from a family of six girls, and my mother is the breadwinner. As women, we, we don't have certain benefits that men are out there enjoying, yet we are all living in the same world, same resources. Here in Uganda, people have a perception that it's only men who can do this and women cannot. I have to prove myself a lot at all times. Most of the challenges that the girls face in Uganda is that they're not given a chance to, to go far in the, in the university or as regards the education level. They can't afford the tuition, school fees are so high. For ages 18 to 24, 80% are unemployed. Yet to join university, you need some money. Forget about the fairy tales, you need some money and our own parents, they pay to educate a boy first. The society still believes just the boy should be educated. So I knew that I wanted to help women in Uganda to go to university. And I started developing these strappy sandals. And my husband and I, we ended up selling enough sandals to send three women to university. As a company, we began very small, sending three girls to university, to where to date we have so far sent 167 girls. These are humble girls that are bright, but they've also gone through a lot. Some have come from sex trafficking, broken homes, domestic violence. Others have come from war-torn areas like the northern Uganda. But despite the fact that they've gone through a lot, we are professionals in every way. And that means when you're cutting that small piece of leather, you have to put your mind to it. You have to consider the customer first. So our products have been produced in a way that it's not only because it has a story, please buy it, help take these women out of poverty, they're so broken, no. You get value for your money. If the story doesn't move you, then the quality of the product and its beauty has to. So a woman graduates from high school, she starts working at Seiko. Every month, 50% of her salary is automatically deposited into a savings account. At the end of her time at Seiko, we'll match up to 300% of her savings and that will go towards her university tuition. So they're graduating, they're going to university, they're creating this incredible change in their communities. And we started asking, could we use that mission of creating community and opportunity for women at home in the United States as well? The answer was yes. And so we launched the Seiko Fellows. And these are the women here in the United States that sell the product, they style their friends, they share the Seiko story, they earn a commission off of all of their sales. And in addition to selling the product, they can build a team. I'm able to share the story of Seiko, why I got started, um, what Seiko's done in my life and the impact that it's created for financial freedom or the ability to have purpose um, a little bit outside of my four walls being a mom just by sharing these amazing products. That's part of creating dignity and respect for women in Eastern Africa. And we bring a group of our top sellers to Uganda every year. And the purpose behind that trip is to really just experience shared humanity. First, when we began the fellows program, to be honest, I first, I first thought it was mainly for the Ugandan women. And later on, I started receiving letters 
of women talking about how Ugandan sisters and the American sisters impact one another in so many ways. That mutually beneficial relationship, sisterhood, community is the thing that makes me most excited about what we're doing. As human beings, we are always faced with the challenge of, I want to help, but I don't know where to start from. And here is Circle giving you a chance that you can actually do it, whether in Uganda or the US, they are actually helping one another. It's a partnership, because without them, I wouldn't have products to sell, and I wouldn't make an income, and I wouldn't feel connected with them. And without us selling the product, they wouldn't have a job to come to. I'm humbled by the fact that someone out there thinks about me, working so hard to take me and other girls to school, to university. I went to the university because I worked hard at Seko. From my whole village, I'm the first girl to graduate with a bachelor's degree. And I can't thank God enough for that opportunity because that opportunity has made me what I am today. This is not just business to give us money at the end of the month. This is a family. We are a family at Seko. You are not alone.